today I'm here at my mom's house and I'm making butternut squash soup for her. You can always add like meat to it, but um, she likes it just like with a butternut squash. So what we're gonna use is uh, butternut squash, this size, no, whichever size you like, but I took, I got the, the smallest one. I'm gonna put one and a half onion and butter. If you have butter, even better, but I didn't have butter here. So I'm gonna put um, country crock, margarine, country crock. Okay. For this soup, always cut the onions long ways like this. Okay, this soup, this recipe is my, my friend Esther's recipe. And she told me that to cut the onions like this because the flavor is different. Very flavorful. I don't peel the pumpkin at all because afterwards we're going to put it through the blender or the food processor and you don't need to peel it. Once it's cooked, it doesn't need to be peeled. If anybody knows an easier way to cut this, please let me know.
Okay, so I'm gonna put like that much, like about maybe quarter cup. I would say yeah, a quarter cup, about a quarter cup of butter or country crock, whatever you have on here. So I can saute here. Break them up. Break, break them apart. So they all cook even. Okay, this is another thing that you're gonna need. Chicken bouillon. Caldo de pollo. Chicken bouillon. I'm gonna put like two, two and a half cubes in the, in the pumpkin when I'm cooking the pumpkin. That's another thing. I don't put any salt because that has a lot of salt. So. Okay, you keep uh, moving them around constantly at this point so they don't burn. You can also lower the heat to medium. That's a fire alarm. <laughs> might go off again. Okay, I think that's good. That's good. It smells so good. Nothing like the, the smell of cooked onions. I use the yellow onions. I think for this, these are the best. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to cook this. Break them up, break them up a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more butter on the on the onions. They're already cooked and everything, but just so they have that buttery flavor. They're already cooked. Just a little bit more butter. So it'll melt in there. This we're gonna add later to, to the pumpkin. There we go. So I would say maybe like Half a cup of butter. Okay, so now we're just gonna let this now 
uh, boil. I put it on high. I put it on high. This one is turned off. That's already cooked. Uh, even though I put some more butter in there, it's already cooked. But this one we put it on high. So let's just wait till it starts boiling and cooking and then it's tender. And this is the finished product, butternut squash soup, delicious. <laughs>